welcome back to Tony's Cool Tools. Appreciate you stopping by. I'm here with Mike from K&L Firewood. Hello. Mike was good enough to bring all this mystery wood, which we're going to identify for you. We're going to split it and tell you what it is. So like we said earlier, we brought all these uh, down from Indiana. Most of these come from my wood yard. They're all native to Indiana. I say all, all that I brought. Uh, Tony had some species here. What species did you add to the mix, Tony? We had musselwood, two varieties, American hornbeam and blue beech. So those are pretty dense woods? Are they... Extremely dense, okay. very high BTU. They do not get very big in diameter. Okay, so is it a big firewood market for that? or Not really. They're, paper mills? Um, no, in fact, that's one thing they don't want. What these mushroom log people like these, or mushroom people like these for inoculating with spores. Okay, I like mushrooms. Mm-hmm.
man. Nice to see you too. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay. Okay, so we got a guest. A two guests. Harry yeah. stopped in. <laughs> Harry nice from the Driftless Homestead. You should check his channel out. So yeah, we, split, we split this wood out and uh, I just was telling the guys my first instinct because I was running the camera so you guys could see everything. So I was right up close and I was smelling it and the cherry smelled awesome. Right. The white pine smelled awesome. The cedar smelled awesome. And then it went downhill fast after you that. You thought I took my socks off, you I said. I thought I took the socks off because this hackberry absolutely reeks. But the worst one I think was the cottonwood. It smells like manure. It, yeah, like a horse barn. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, so yeah, that was my first instinct. Uh, I mean, awesome. the pretty wood, the Osage orange is just awesome. Yeah. And that uh, walnut that you have, the purple inside, mm -hmm. it's just very nice. Yeah. It smells good too. Uh, yeah. It's got a distinct smell to it. It's not, it's not horrible. Yeah. 20 different kinds of wood and uh, very uh, unique, all of them. Now you guys, when you were putting the staples in, the Osage orange, the staple only went in about, what a... Oh, not even an eighth of an inch. Yeah. Couldn't even get the staple in. And then the white pine, you almost split the wood. When you the <laughs> That's it. So, right. so quite different. But uh, yeah. Of the group, since you were running the splitter a little bit, is there one that split the easiest? Or you thought, oh, wow, this it is nice. Struggled at all? Didn't matter. Nothing. You know, naturally, we're dealing with the Eastern made axis. So. <laughs> Goes through just about anything. Yeah. We all just happen to have Eastern made splitters. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, that's right. <laughs> so you've got. I've got one of, yep, one of these. Tony's got an Axis. You got a 1222. Mm -hmm. You had a 1222. Yep. I have an Ultra, and then I got the the big toy. So yeah, we got a bunch of, of blue and orange stuff. We sure did. And it all works great. Yeah. That was that was neat. That's neat to do. So now all this wood, I'm going to take with me to the firewood frenzy, and we're going to have it there for people to identify. Perfect. So that'll be kind of cool, and that'll be in what's well, a week from now. So you're yeah. going to have the video. The 11th, yeah. I will not be there. You guys no, the, are... the video will be up. Oh yeah, my video up be awesome. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. So yeah, this will be at the show. That'll be cool. And but the you're three going, of us... the three of you are going. I won't be there. Uh, but that's all right. That's something more important to do. Have, you got have, have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'll be there in spirit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, I know there. what to say. So of this wood, I'm gonna rank them by worst wood to best wood as far as firewood for heating. Mm -hmm. For heating. Okay. It'll all burn. There's nothing wrong with any of it. Yep. But I would say number one worst one is probably cottonwood. Okay, we're gonna start from the bottom up then. Bottom up. I'd okay. say cottonwood. That's that's nasty crap. Agreed. Pine. Um, cedar would probably. Well, be cedar would be just but like you say. It smells good. It smells good, but cottonwood stinks and it burns fast. <laughs> yeah. A low B to use. For yeah, sure. yeah, and cedar's probably right behind it, but that smells pretty good. And then white pine is real close to that too. Mm -hmm. um, then I think there was some spruce in here, which is better than those. So spruce would be like number four. What about box elder? Box that's elder. An, yeah. Where that's, was the box elder? Right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Box elder's down low too, so that's yep. down there. So those are kind of the. the it's above ones. pine, but uh, you know below soft maple. Yeah. And then you got soft maple, which is mm -hmm. the next one. I'd say soft maple. And then after that, um, probably cherry is probably the one that's in the middle of the BTUs, but smells great. Cuts, really cuts nice. base, Walnut. splits. Walnuts right there yeah. too, yep. And then after that, probably elm and ash are probably right in there. Yep. Um, Mulberry's not too far behind. Mulberry's, mulberry would be right in there too. Um, then after that, as far as BTUs, probably the white oak and red oak and mm -hmm. the fir oak. Then probably the hickories your no I got, or you got your yeah. iron well but that's above that that's, that's above, above that yeah so then you got your your smooth bark hickory which is your um bitter nut bitter nut hickory yeah. and then shag bark hickory hackberry actually is going to be right below oak i believe i think that's right in that range right in the oak range it might be a little over or right there so hackberry then after that then you've got Probably mulberries is somewhere right in there too. Isn't that about the same as uh, oak or a little below oak? I, probably, probably below oak. Okay, oak. so below oak as far as BTUs. But it's nice wood. Yeah. Um, and then from there, probably. Locust somewhere. Oh, yeah, but that's. That's, that's high up. Higher up you think? That's yeah. right around the ironwood. Yeah, it's oh, wow. iron, yeah the, the, the locust, the ironwood, and the blue beech ironwood are all about the same as far as BTUs. I think they're all pretty close. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you'd have locusts, and then the king of the pile is the Osage orange. Yeah. 
right? Once you say, I mean, that's, yeah, I'm, that's not, pretty I'm, close. Not, I'm not saying yeah. they're all exact right in there, yeah. but that's kind yeah. of the range. So yeah. if you're looking for BTUs, that's how I would look at it. And if you're looking for quality wood just to have a good time, burn it all. But <laughs> it all burns. But that's exactly it. They all burn. Yep. yep. So. Yeah, sage orange, you know, those can get to be big trees, you know, so that's a high BTU. We don't have many of those in Wisconsin. I've seen there was a few down Southern in Southern Wisconsin, yeah. yeah. But the ironwood is probably the most prevalent high BTU wood in Wisconsin, but they don't. But they don't grow. Right, that's an understory tree. A big one is 12 inches. Yeah. It's an understory. Yeah. Yeah, I got I mean, a few of those. Yep. <laughs> and, then, and then your hickories are probably right there, too. Yep, yep. And then after that, then it's oak. And a lot of people, because their whole life they've heard, oh, oak-fired oven or pe uh, oak-fired oak pizza grill. They think oak, 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 or they go, oak is great because there's a lot of it. And it's good wood, but I don't like it because it takes forever to dry. Um, it's heavy. <laughs> Um, it takes forever to dry. Yeah. <laughs> Did you mention it was heavy? It's, it's heavy. Yeah, yeah, some of the other wood is too, but um, locust, a lot of people don't know about locust is actually a better wood than oak as far as heat, and so is hickory. But a lot of people But don't it's know nasty that. as far as the, oh, the bark. bark. The bark. Oh. Yeah, it's real nasty. Yeah, we didn't have any, there's other woods we, that we could have had in here that we don't have. We don't have any basswood, we don't have any birch, yellow or um, white birch, we don't have that. Um, no sycamore, I could have brought sycamore. Yeah, well, what's wrong with you? Next time, get it right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so there's sassafras. Yeah, sassafras. I didn't have any of that. I think that, I've got. Does, does that smell good? It just sounds it, like it would smell it good. It does smell. Because that's what they make root beer out of. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does smell uh, very good, uh, yeah. especially when you're cutting with a chainsaw. That's when you really get some aroma from it. Right. Like cutting cherry, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks much. Thanks for stopping by Tony's new tool, Tony's cool tools, that is. And once again, we have Mike from KNL who brought most of this wood. We have Harry from the Driftless Homestead. And we have Chris, who's my former best friend, but he's still around. But, anyways, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. And pass it forward, make the world a better place. Thanks again.